If you're going to come unstuck on the canning, chances are it will be because of fuel. And over that 1,744 kilometre stretch, for much of it, you'll be restricted to walking pace as you idle over the rocks and ruts. And there's 961 momentum sapping, fuel munching sand dunes to contend with as well. Plus, your vehicle will be heavy, loaded to the hilt with things like roof racks and spare tyres. So expect your average fuel consumption to just about double on the canning. And that's if you're not towing anything. There's just one single solitary Bowser on the entire canning stock route. And this is it right here at Coonawarrigee. The only other way that you can get fuel is to have it dropped off at well 23. And they drop it off in big 200 litre drums and you can order it through the Capricorn Roadhouse. Unlike a lot of other Aussie four wheel drive tracks, where you could expect fellow travellers to help out, the canning is different, much different. You're likely to pass just one or two vehicles on your entire journey, but then you might not pass any at all. Obviously, you need to do some serious calculations when it comes to your fuel situation. Diesel vehicles are usually more efficient than petrol Forbies, but no matter the vehicle, you'll have to look for ways of storing extra juice. Jerry cans are the cheap way to go, but finding places to store them can be tough. We've installed a long range of fuel tank in our patrol and that's bumped out our capacity to around about 167 litres. 